I'm Kristen Apier. I'm a senior analyst with IDC. And my area of expertise as an analyst is mobility. So I track mobile phones and tablets in the Canadian market. So I'm tracking the number of devices. I'm tracking how these devices are being used. I'm tracking the apps in terms of how Canadians are using apps and whether they pay for them and how much they pay for them. So we have lots of knowledge around what's going on in this industry and in Canada specifically. Now, we're talking about the concept stage today. And so when you're thinking about the concept, one of the important inputs to those decisions that you're making is market research, since it can help you understand the demand for the things that you're going to be building. And market research is important no matter the size of your company, whether you're a single developer just starting out, or whether you're a large organization like a Samsung or an Apple or another big company, everyone needs to use market research at some point in the game to really understand the demand for what it is that they're building. So that's what I'm here to talk to you about today. So market research isn't necessarily the sexiest thing to talk about, but it's a really important concept. Uh, it's important because we all want to make money in what we're doing. And so again, market research helps you identify where those lucrative opportunities are. Helps us understand market readiness. You might have a, a great solution or a great app, but is the end user ready to use that and are they familiar with it? Geographic differences are really important. A lot of people have a tendency, big companies as well, to use US and worldwide data instead of focusing on the specific and unique Canadian differences. And it, it can actually lead to very different outcomes. And then the positioning as well, how you want to position yourself relative to other people that might have similar solutions uh, to make sure that yours uh, is in demand. So I'll start off by providing just an overview of what is going on in the Canadian market in the mobile industry and how big it is. So when we look on the mobile phone side of things, um, in terms of adoption of the Canadian population, we see that at the end of last year, 55% of the Canadian population was using a smartphone. And by the end of next year, that'll grow to 68%. So that's a huge number in terms of the number of Canadians that will have these devices that are capable of using apps. So lots of opportunity for sure. When we look at the top smartphone shipments in 2013 in terms of operating systems, because obviously you want to know what to build for, for phones we're looking at obviously Android number one, uh, iOS number two, and Blackberry number three. And in fact, over the next five years, we expect uh, those top two to remain uh, pretty consistent there. We do expect we could see Windows kind of sneaking up into the third space possibly within the next five years. Tablet side of things, things are a little bit different. It's still a very new space, given that on you know, we just saw the, the iPads really come into the market in Q2 of 2010. But in just two years, by the end of last year, in 2012, we were still at 14% of adoption. So 14% of Canadians had a tablet and had the ability to use um, apps designed for those tablets. And by the end of next year, it'll rise to 22%. So that's pretty significant when you think how long it's taken the mobile phone industry to grow to that type of adoption, you know. 10, 12 years, and in just really two, three years, we're seeing the tablet market catch up. On the tablet side of things, from an OS perspective, it's a little bit different. We see iOS leading in terms of uh, you know, shipments and, and usage. On the Android comes in at number two, and Windows in at number three. From a geographical perspective, I said that when you're looking at market research, it's really important to look at the geographical differences. And in fact, if you were to look at those top three smartphone operating systems in other regions, you'd see Blackberry's not in there. Surprising, you know, probably not surprising to anyone here. Uh, in Canada, things are a little bit different. <coughs> so I thought I'd share with you some of the app research that we have as well, just to highlight what's going on in the Canadian landscape with respect to apps. So when we look at businesses and how they're using apps, uh, we found this is from a survey that we did last year with Canadian businesses and we found 36% of Canadian business respondents in that survey had mobilized at least one app in their company. 43% hadn't uh, deployed any apps at all and were uncertain if they would do so in the future and 21% were testing. So there's a huge opportunity here if you're looking to develop apps for businesses because they just haven't really adopted them yet. And, and they're willing to pay because they're looking for apps that will make uh, things easier and more streamlined in their business. So that's a huge opportunity. What we also found from that survey is that the more apps that companies had deployed, the more satisfied they were with them and the more they wanted to invest in them moving forward. So it was this snowball effect that's taking place. Now on the consumer side of things, apps are obviously very much in use today. 
I actually have a little bit of a, a trick here. Uh, so I, I put down on the slide here that 48% of consumers are using apps. Now there's actually something wrong with that data point. Uh, what's wrong with the data point is that it doesn't actually specify whether those are Canadians at large or Canadians that are using phones. So again, a bit of a trick there just to get you thinking. Again, when you're looking at market research and market data, think about the origin of that piece of research. So it would probably be more accurate to talk about the number of Canadians on smartphones that are using apps. And in fact, if you look at that data point based on our research, you'd find that 85% of Canadians using a smartphone today are using apps. And so that would be a more important data point to look at. And we look at which type of users on different operating systems are more likely to be using apps. We find that iOS users, so smartphone users, are the most likely to be using apps, followed by Android, um, and then followed by BlackBerry and Windows is much further down on the list.